guys, it's Haley here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own DIY donut pillow, and here are the things that you're going to be needing. Some kind of soft fabric like fur or fleece in a cream color because obviously donuts are cream. You're also going to be needing some pink or brown felt depending what color you want your glaze to be. For the sprinkles on top, you can pick out any colorful beads that are long and thin that look like sprinkles. You're going to be needing some white thread and thread that matches the color of your sprinkles. Since this is a sewing project, you're going to be needing a needle and some scissors to cut out the fabric. And lastly, you're going to be needing some fiber to fill in the pillow. So first you're going to be needing a big circle so you can make the perfect donut shape and just put this on your pink felt and trace it out. Next you're going to be needing a smaller circle and make sure this is right in the middle and trace that out as well. Now you can get your scissors and start chopping just like first grade. When it's time to cut the circle on the inside, just fold it in half and with your scissors, cut a little slit right in the middle. And now you could work your way out inside the circle. And this is what it should look like once you're done. So now it's time to sew on the sprinkles, so thread your needle and I'm going to be getting my blue beads. And just stick in your thread from under the glaze and pull it out from the other part. And now you can put in a bead through your needle and pull it down. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to stick the needle right next to the bead and then pull it out again from the bottom. So this is what it should look like. And you can just repeat that step. Stick it in. Put in a bead. At least I think I do. And then stick the needle back in whatever direction you want the sprinkle to be facing. And just do it all over again. And then I switch to another color. The donut itself has to be a little bigger than the glaze, so you need a bigger circle to trace. So make sure it's just a little bigger than the pink. But on the other hand, the circle in the middle has to be smaller than the circle that we made in the pink felt. Also make sure the fleece is two layers so you can cut two circles at once. After you're done cutting, just thread your needle and start sewing around the donut. After you're finished sewing, just tie two or three knots and cut off your thread. And now just grab the donut from the middle and flip it inside out as if you were just flipping inside out a dirty shirt or something like that. And now you can start sewing the icing onto the donut, but make sure you just sew it onto the first layer of the donut because then you don't want it to stick together without you being able to fill it up first. So you could just sew it normally or sew it by adding more beads as you go along the way, which is what I did. And once you're done, just tie a knot at the end and also sew the outside part of the icing onto the donut to the very fun part which is filling it up so it actually starts looking like a pillow and once you're done filling it up you have to sew the inside part of the donut so it doesn't explode and go all over the place and we are finally done you can put it on your bed now and Round of applause for us, guys. We managed. Life like I'm in a dream. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Love you all to Pluto and back. Bye!